Hi, just a quick uh, update video on the uh, continuity uh, range, sorry, the ohms range, uh, auto ranging speed of the 121GW firmware. I've got some new firmware here, it's uh, 1.05. I'll compare that to uh, 1.04, which is a previous update I had, which uh, improved the speed, but 1.05 improves it again. Comparing it with the U1282A, which uses the sa exact same chipset, the HY. Uh, 3131 as the 121GW, the Metro Hit Ultra, and a fast auto ranging, uh, you know, real high end um, uh, precision meter in the uh, Bryman BM869. So let's actually compare it. Here we go. I'll, uh, whoop, there we go. And go. There we go. We should find that it is, whoop, no, it's slightly this is sometimes quicker than this it may have to do with um, I find this is not terribly consistent when I actually connect them all together because of the um, input uh, you know like because they're actually trying to drive a current through these things so all the meters are connected in parallel and it's kind of hard but I have gotten to a point where it is there we go it's on now on par at least with the U1282A um, and I have in some cases seen it faster so it just I think it depends on you know residual charge in the input sockets or you know something like that there we go it might have been no I have seen it slightly quicker anyway let's say it's on par with the Keysight U1282A and of course it's faster than Gosson Metro Hit but you saw how fast that the uh, BM869 is and this is just a nature of how uh, various manufacturers implement the auto ranging feature on the uh, chipset so you know it it is what it is I'm not saying that we can't make the 121 GW quicker in the future but uh, for the time being I'm actually quite reasonably happy that it's the same as the Keysight U1282A which uses the same, same chipset and this is a bloody good meter so um, I'll just actually uh, whack in some faster ones for those who are interested let's put in a uh, 1272A for example let's get rid of the Gossen and uh, let's put in say the BM235 which is I think that goes in positive there and that is really quick and you'll notice that the key side is just showing a residual uh, read in here um, because as I said there's various you know drive currents trying to actually drive these things so it's not an ideal test but there we go look at that that's practically you know, it's near enough to instant there um, and if we get some others some other really fast ones let's take out the uh, 1282A and let's whack in say the Fluke 17B which I believe is a fast one let's give that a bell and let it go back and whoop see now this is showing 47 43 and like it's just yeah, it's all over the shop. So, there you go. Um, and, uh, say, another one, which is uh, reasonably, well, which is very quick. Unity uh, 61E, I believe, is quick. So let's, whoa! Uh, <laughs> not a happy camper. Look at that. Wow. Wow. 0 0.00.00, 000 .00 kilo ohms. Um, yeah. It's like, I wonder which meat is causing it. <laughs> and I haven't got them connected either. Wow. The Unity is a real... No, it's just the fact that there's multiple ones connected. Uh, it's the same. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Unity is uh, not a happy camper. So maybe we won't do that one. Maybe if I swap it. Let's, let's give that a bell. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's give that a try. Here we go. Zoom. There we go. So it's sort of like on par with the BM235. Uh, uh, BM235 is quicker. So, you know, like, <laughs> as I said, it kind of is what it is. I'm not saying we can't make it faster in the future in software, but I don't think at the moment we're not going to put any more work into getting that quicker. It's on par with the uh, u twelve eighty. To a uh, uh, little uh, U12, yes, 1282A here. And if auto ranging speed is 
like like a showstopper for you in terms of a meter, then well, yeah, you know, don't buy this, you know, don't buy this high-end uh, Gossen, you know, if, if that's your overriding requirement, get a deliberately fast, for whatever reason that they've, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Bryman's actually used their own custom uh, chipset, for example, I'm led to believe, so uh, they've, just, however, they've implemented that, whatever, I don't know what chipset's inside the UT61E, I think it's just one of the off-the-shelf ones, but there's other you know, ones that are uh, reasonably quick. The 17B is reasonably quick, I think. I can't remember what chipsets used in that. But anyway, um, there you go. And by the way, yes, some chipsets that use the 120, that use the same chipset as this and this, which is the U, uh, which is the HY 3131 uh, chipset. Um, I think somebody on the forum reported that one of them got down to two seconds or something like that. So it is faster than what's implemented inside the key site and what's implemented currently inside the 121 uh, GW. So I think the chipset is capable of faster and yet we may, we may go back to that in the future and just try and get it uh, down. But at the moment, it is now on par with the 1282A. Anyway, hope you found that useful. This is not a main channel video, I'm not, so I'm not going to tell you to thumbs it up. Catch you next time.